Hello and welcome back. This is Toby from Our Data Solution. In the previous screencast, I hope you saw it, we showed you how to install Joomla 1.6 and we showed you how to install Logos Form and Report Manager, the new version, version 5, using the new version of Joomla. So perhaps what I should do is give a very quick overview of Logos. In Logos we have actions and connections and applications. A connection is your connection to the database an action is some sort of action you do with the database and an application is a collection of actions. Now if you haven't used Logos already perhaps that doesn't mean very much to you. So I'll walk you through the process of making an application. The first thing we do is that we create a connection. We create a connection to the database. The database is where our data is. In this example, we'll make a connection to a MySQL database. When we make the connection, we have to specify where the database is, the host name, how we're going to connect to it, the username and the password. And usually we also have to specify the database name. That's different than the host name. The host name is the machine, perhaps, where it is. And the database name is the name of the database. We've saved this information, we've made a connection, we've gotten a list of tables and fields in the database. And now what we can do is configure those fields. We can specify a title for these fields that will appear on the form. We can also specify what the fields are used for, the type of data that they should represent, and we can also specify how the data should be searched, as well as some other things. We'll change some of the titles and we'll leave the rest of the defaults. We've created the connection, we've configured the connection, so now we can create an application. Again, an application is a group of actions. Really, that's it. There's some additional parameters that you can use to configure the application to control how it works, but in reality, an application is basically just a group of actions. There is something special that an application can do for us. It can manage data. We can use the application to generate all the interfaces, the form, the search results that we'll use to manage data within the database, specifically one single data source or one table. The application wizard can be used to generate all the basic actions that we'll need to work with the data, to search for it, to administer it, to add records, to edit records. We simply specify which fields we want to work with in each action and Logos does the rest. We can see here that it has created and updated a number of actions for us. Let's take a look at those. Here they are, adding a dealership, administrating a dealership, and Logos has generated the SQL needed to search the data and to manage the data. Well, it's looking good so far. We've created a connection, we've created an application, now we have actions, let's use it. To use it we have to create a menu item and we'll create a link to the Logos application. We'll call it dealerships and we'll link this to our dealership application. Let's save the menu item and now let's access it from the front of the Joomla website. Clicky clicky and there are our actions. Let's use the search interface. We don't actually need to write anything here. Let's just submit the form and let's see what we have. We have quite a bit. There's quite a bit of data here. It works. Here's the details of a record. But I'm feeling it's a little bit confusing. I'd rather have a little bit of data. So let's go and change that. Let's go back to our application. Again, this is a managed application. And because it's managed, we can change the configuration. We can say we do not want to 
to use all these fields. Whoops, that's the wrong one. This is our search query. I'm going to deselect all the fields that I don't want by default. They're all selected. But in this particular case, actually, I do not want to use most of them. So let's go through and deselect all these fields that I don't want to see in the search results. Excellent, excellent. Let's save those changes. Yes, we want to update the application and the actions. Looks like they're updated. Let's go back to the front and let's let's see. Whoops, wrong one again. The search search query actions. Yes. Submit the form. And nice, nice, nice. Good. We don't see all the data that we saw before. Whoops. We seem to have forgotten something. We need to go back and make one additional change. We need to make sure the ID of the record is selected. It can be hidden. No big deal. Let's change the color too. I don't like that green. Update the actions. Yes. Go back to the front end. Let's reload this. I want the new colors. Better. Not perfect, but better. And now if I select a record, view the details. Nice, 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 nice. Well, this has been a demo of Logos 5 using Joomla 1.6. If you'd like some more information, you can find that information on the R Data Solution website, rdatasolution.com.